And you may have seen them in your yard or maybe even heard them. Oh yeah, the brood X cicadas are here, but how much do you know about these noisy insects? Oh, we are diving into the history now. Mackenzie Bart joins us to give us some of the fast facts. There are multiple kinds of cicadas and some return every year. Annual cicadas start to make an appearance in July and last through October. They're camo colored and usually hard to find. So what makes this year different? We'll see the periodical cicadas, which are larger with bright red eyes and only appear every 13 or 17 years. Why 17 years? To this day, scientists still find it a mystery to why the 17 year slumber, but they speculate that the prime number helps to throw off any predators. What happens after they emerge? Once the ground is warm enough, 64 degrees is the magical number, they will move from underground to nearby trees where they will molt into their adult form. Once they become fully formed adult cicadas, they will fly and make that loud noise we all know. Their song is to attract female cicadas where they will mate and lay eggs in tree limbs. These limbs will fall to the ground, heavy with the hatchlings, where they will crawl back into the ground to start their 16 year cycle all over again. With your fast cicada facts, Mackenzie Bart, 10 TV News. That music just made it just a little bit it's creepier. It's so eerie, like a scary movie. <laughs> a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Remember, you can send us your pictures and videos of the cicadas in your neighborhood. Just download the free 10 TV app and then click on the Near Me tab. I'm okay with one photo, guys, at once, like one cicada, but when people send in the pictures showing them all like swarming at the base of that oak tree. Mm -hmm. You just ask people to send them to you. I did. Well, you know. Notice how I said to you. <laughs> But it's interesting because, you know, in parts of central Ohio, uh, you're not going to see them. Mm -hmm. And then in some of the other parts, people are seeing tons of them. So, you know, is, is there a reason for that, Jeff? It just depends on where they where they um, where they emerge from. But the thing is, you don't, they're not going to bite you. They're not going to hurt you. They're not like any. They're just they're just kind of ugly and loud. So Aww. I think they all need love, too. They're just, you know, we should give a little cicada love on a day like today because, again, they're not going to hurt you at all.